Hey guys, I have an adult coloring book to share with you. This one is called Botanical Wonderland. This is the artist edition and it's really large. It is almost a full 10 inches by 13 inches. It's so big that I've actually had to zoom the camera all the way out so the whole thing would fit. Okay, so there are 20 large art prints in this book. It's by Rachel Reinhardt. The the artwork is very whimsical, it's very surreal, it's just beautiful. Okay, so we're gonna do a quick flip through so you guys can see all these images. All right, so we're gonna open the book this way. And the first thing you're gonna notice is it's not a regular coloring book. It's on a paper pad. And you're gonna open the book this way. You can easily remove all of these images. You just pick them up and then you would pull right at the seam right there and they would come right out of the book. So you can work outside of the book and then you can frame your image when you're done, which is fabulous. Okay, let's look at this paper. This is really, really thick paper. You could very easily use mixed media on this paper. Create your art and then frame it. This is so great, I love this. Now, these images are really gonna let you be adventurous with your color palette. I mean, just look at the front cover. Just fun, it's just so much fun. All right, so there's your first image. Love that. Now, these aren't real flowers in life. These are made up flowers, these are imaginary. And that's what's so fun about it. Beautiful. Lovely. This looks like undersea life. This is extremely thick paper. I just love that. I love these images. This is just going to be so much fun to work in. I'm going to enjoy coloring and painting and whatever other media I want to use. This is just going to be a lot of fun. Lately, I've really been loving using markers to lay down my base color and then I go over with pencil colors to add all the shading and highlighting and detail. I love that. So that might be something you guys might want to try. You can also do that with watercolor too. You can lay down your base color with watercolor and then go back over it with detail. Just let your watercolor dry first. Look at that. Oh, that looks like fun. Okay, we're almost at the end. I think I have one more image left. Okay, there's our last image. And I love this. This is something different. If you love to do adult coloring books, I'd say for sure, pick this up and just have fun. All right, guys, as always, I'm going to leave a link below so you guys know where to get it. And I will see you later. Bye.